How's it going, guys? So this is a very high-yield question for step one for your pathology slash pharmacology component. We could make this a very extended clip, talk about every little detail about these diagnoses here, uh, but I'm just going to stay concise, increase your score without wasting your fucking time, right? So before we get started, I will be an asshole, however, and tell you to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Hit the like button. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now, start the question here where 43-year-old woman, she's brought to the ED by her husband. She's had several episodes of unusual blank staring while eating lunch. She's currently on lithium, bupropion, terbinafine. She's a heavy smoker. Father passed away from brain cancer at age 52. And she recently had a trip to Central America three weeks ago. Questions merely asking which of the following is the most likely explanation for these findings. Let's walk through the answer choices here. Choice A, catatonic episode or catatonia, wrong fucking answer. Now look, this is classically associated with schizophrenia, okay? Um, it's nothing to obsess over, just being aware that it can show up in schizophrenia, okay? A bit of blank staring, mutism. In terms of my observation, how this applies to US simile slash NBME, I've seen catatonia in hypotonic hypotonic, what the fuck am I saying? Hypoactive delirium, okay? When we think of delirium, we classically think of a patient jumping off the walls, okay? Visual hallucinations, etc. That's hyperactive delirium. However, 2CK level especially, maybe an old woman, she's had surgery, she can be a bit mute, okay, when on physical examination, that's hypoactive delirium. US simile wants you to be aware of that, especially on 2CK. So be aware, catatonic episode, is this delirium? Is this schizophrenia? In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, glio glioblastoma multiforme, something to absolutely consider. It's not the right answer, but patient is a heavy smoker. Dad did pass away from brain cancer at age 52, okay? It's something absolutely uh, we should consider. EGFR, uh, mutations, epidermal growth factor, receptor mutations, uh, increased risk for glioblo glioblastoma multiforme, butterfly glioma can present with seizure, okay? Um, but it's not the answer in this case. And the reason is because the patient is on multiple medications, as I will explain in a moment. I mean, this is a major risk factor. This is relevant info, okay? And also morning vomiting, that's a high yield uh, factoid that will show up for C uh, that will show up for brain cancer questions, especially in pediatrics. Choice C, leaf from many syndrome, wrong answer. This is TP53 gene mutation, uh, which codes for P53 uh, tumor suppressor protein. Uh, it's something to consider, but it's the wrong answer as the patient's on these medications. Uh, so leaf from many syndrome and USMLE will present as a family that has seemingly very uh, un or disconnected haphazard cancers, such as, okay, father had brain cancer. Okay, as we have here, but let's say the mom also had colon cancer, the brother had gallbladder cancer. So they'll mention many different seemingly unrelated cancers in a family for Lee from many syndrome if they want that on US simile. Wrong answer in this case. Choice D, neurosis sarcosis, wrong fucking answer. This is a distractor, okay? Uh, yes, they went to Central America. It's relevant, okay? Central South America, tinea solium, that's pork tapeworm, it's a cestode. Um, it can present as a Swiss cheese appearance in the brain. Uh, if you do a CT scan, it can also present as uh, cystic appearing structures in the brain's ventricles and seizure. Yes, absolutely. It's relevant, uh, info that the patient went to South Central America, uh, but on these medications, as I will talk about. So the answer is seizure activity choice E. You need to know for USMLE that bupropion lowers the seizure threshold can cause seizures. Really fucking important. I mean, that's a major risk factor here that the patient is on this drug, okay? So bupropion can be used in uh, bipolar disorder. Patients also on lithium. Lithium is first line for bipolar. Bupropion can also be used for just regular, quote unquote, monopolar depression. And also it can be used for smoking cessation. Bupropion, uh, notably, apart from causing seizures, it does not cause sexual side effects. So patients who are worried about anorgasmia have had sexual dysfunction on SSRIs, okay? Uh, bupropion is a, is a choice to consider. Avoid bupropion in patients with history of eating disorders, uh, anorexia, bulimia, because electrolyte disturbance further increases the risk of seizure, okay? And uh, 
And okay, and the mechanism of action being a neurotransmitter reuptake inhibitor, as far as the ratio of norepinephrine, serotonin, and dopamine, the literature varies on it, but that's its MOA, okay? It prevents the reuptake of neurotransmitter. Lithium, of course, can prolong the QT interval. I've seen that on uh, some 2CK neuro NBME material, also causes thyroid dysfunction. That's very, very important. It can cause tremor. It can cause Epstein anomaly, okay? Atrialization of the right ventricle if taken during pregnancy. Lithium, extremely high yield, okay? Uh, very narrow therapeutic window, which means the dose, the difference between the dose required for therapeutic effect and the toxic dose, very, very narrow interval there. Uh, Turbinafine, antifungal, topical is used for uh, tinea pedis, okay? Like foams, sprays. Uh, oral terbinafine is used for onychomycosis, which is nail bed fungus. But it, but once again, the take home from this question is not to be overly dramatic or tricky or creative. The point is to increase your fucking score and focus on high yield points. Bupropion causes seizures. Yes, you need to know that. Okay, you know the deal. I'm gonna continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.